All right folks, let's set the scene. During the Cold War, the Soviet Union developed a project called the Patriot, which consisted of genetically modifying humans so that they could overcome their abilities and become super weapons. Besides this project, another called Module 1 was also being developed by Professor August Kuratov, who wanted to create a technology capable of controlling any kind of machine. Even with all the scientists' efforts, the experiment failed which caused the authorities to close down the entire department in which he worked. Completely frustrated Kuratov, stole the research from Victor, the lead scientist on the Patriot project. With his material in hand, he went on to develop his own superhumans without any supervision whatsoever. But unlike the experiments allowed by the government, Kuratov experiments did not follow any kind of ethics. And because of this, several guinea pigs did not survive. Among them, the only ones who made it out alive were, Lur who can master rocks. Asis, who can transform himself into a super strong bear man. Khan, with the abilities of a ninja and Ksenia, who can control her own temperature and make her body invisible when in contact with water. In the final phase of the Cold War, Kuratov is discovered and arrested for his crimes against humanity, but manages to escape and take refuge in the old genetics laboratory. But to his misfortune, the authorities decide to destroy the place to put an end to all research. It turns out that Kuratov already knew this could happen and turns his own laboratory into a bomb activating it at the moment of the attack just to cause casualties. Even with the devastating explosion, the man manages to survive, but ends up being contaminated by substances that completely modify his genetic code. Now being the owner of frightening physical strength, Kuratov becomes extremely powerful and could not be stopped by the authorities. Thus managing to complete the research of his original project Module 1. With this, he decides to attach the invention to his own body. Finally gaining the ability, he has spent his life trying to possess the power to control any kind of electronic device. In the present day, a businessman is presenting to the military how a new machine developed for combat works. But unlike the others, it does not need anyone to control it and has an artificial intelligence that can dodge attacks and hit several targets at the same time. To prove the potential of this device, the entrepreneur sends his own Russian tanks to try to hit it. But for some reason, the motor robots begin to destroy the Soviet tanks and even helicopters, even though they were not programmed to do so. Concerned, the businessman calls for reinforcements to finish off the robots. But the machines destroy the base's entire military arsenal. At that moment, the robots turn to the command center where the businessman is and begin to shoot the place, destroying the computers and eliminating all the humans with one last missile. Suddenly, Kuratov comes out of the smoke, completely modified and takes control of the robots for good, taking them with him to torment Russia and get his revenge. In a very short time, the news about what Kuratov has done reaches the Ministry of Defense and General Dolgov decides to resurrect the Patriot Project, leaving Major Elena in charge of locating the superhumans created by the villain and convincing them to help defend the entire planet from this new threat. The general then takes Elena to the former headquarters of the Patriot Project so that she can meet with the team and start investigating the whereabouts of the Guardians, asking them to track down any kind of strange events in the last few years. With the help of the Soviet database, the intelligence team finds several suspicious reports pointing to various places on the planet and decides to start looking in Armenia, where it is rumored that a stone man has been seen trying to hide. So they first go to the monastery where Lur has become a hermit to try to leave his old life behind. When she finds him, the Major introduces herself as the supervisor of the Patriot program and the man threatens to use his powers if she tries to take him. But Elena says that the only thing she wants is to give him the chance for revenge. Uninterested in this, Lur says that all his enemies are gone. But the Major tells him that Kuratov is still alive and planning to eliminate all of Russia. With the revelation that the scientist is still alive, he does not think twice and decides to embark on the Guardian's initiative accompanying Elena to the next recruitment drive in Kazakhstan. In the middle of a desert in Central Asia, Khan is met by a group of criminals sent by Kuratov who are trying to capture him. But as one of the vehicles approaches in his direction, the man manages to pass through it with his teleport power and slice the car in half, along with an agent who is in the back seat. After the first attack, the snipers start firing, doing everything they can to hit Khan, but he manages to dodge all the projectiles while chopping up the enemy's bodies like paper. At the end of the fight, Lur appears and invites his old friend to join him in revenge against Kuratov and he even accepts but says it won't be easy. They then accompany a group of military personnel to investigate reports of a bear man sighting in Siberia and discover that it is another of the Guardian's asses, who is isolated in a cabin in the middle of the forest. While investigating the place, the military finds a secret laboratory and begins to investigate it when they are caught by asses. But as soon as he sees Lur and Khan, the bear man immediately understands what it is all about and agrees to help them with. The team almost complete, 
The trio leaves from Moscow where Ksenia has joined a circus to use her powers and performances, enchanting crowds and making a lot of money. After another one of her shows, Ksenia goes to the dressing room where Khan is waiting to talk. But since she lost her memory decades ago, the acrobat doesn't recognize him and immediately starts attacking him. Not knowing about her amnesia, Khan struggles thinking that Ksenia just wanted to reminisce about the old times when they trained together. But when she notices Lur's presence, the acrobat begins to realize that something strange is going on since they both talk to her, as if they were old friends. Even confused, the woman remains on the defensive and attacks Lur, who knows exactly how to respond to her attacks. Since it was he who taught her, but Asus appears and interrupts the fight explaining that they were all friends in the past and that he possesses powers like her. With this, she finally calms down and the Guardian invites her to together defeat Kuratov, the man who ended their lives. Willing to do anything to remember who she was, she agrees to join the team and tells a little more about her memory loss, explaining that the doctor said that her memories would come back with time. But it has been over 40 years and she can only remember her own name because of a ring on her finger. With the team complete, they are ready for their first mission and General Dolgov says that they have managed to locate the stolen tanks in Kuratov's hideout. But that they will have to act fast, before they lose their surprise element. The group then goes to an old junkyard where they find several guards and prepare to attack. But since it is raining, Ksenia decides to go first, taking advantage of the water to become invisible and explore the enemy lines. As she passes quietly by the soldiers, Lur tries to communicate with the base to track Kuratov, but Elena cannot hear him because the signal is being blocked. Not suspecting that Kuratov already knows they are there, Ksenia advances as unseen by the guards. But one of them sees the footprints and raindrops hitting the acrobat and activates his thermal vision goggles. As soon as he realizes that there is someone invisible among them. The man warns his colleagues who shoot a gas pipe, freezing her body and revealing her true form. On the other side of the hideout, Asus assumes his half-man, half-bear form and advances, defeating the soldiers with brute force alone. With his tank-like ability, the shots barely tickle Asus who hits a super heavy barrel into one of the guards. Finally realizing the ineffectiveness of traditional weapons, the men prepare a hunting net with which they finally succeed in immobilizing Asus. Unaware of the bear man situation, Khan continues to pass through the soldiers like a ghost silently eliminating them. Soon after this, Khan is cornered by a whole group of men, but he manages to deal with them quickly eliminating everyone before the first body even hits the ground. Just then, a sniper appears in, the ninja manages to neutralize him with a throwing knife but ends being hit by a type of sedative that causes him to fall unconscious to the ground. As the only guardian still standing, Lur uses the surrounding rocks to form the stone fists with which he can eliminate many enemies. But as more men appear, he must gather the rocks around his body, making an almost impenetrable armor. Fully protected, the master stone bender runs towards the guards and manages to take them all down in one fell swoop, making a nice strike. But at this moment, Kuratov appears and Lur tries to keep his distance to gain some kind of advantage but his opponent manages to get closer and literally destroys the armor by punching it. Alone and at a disadvantage, Lur only has time to form a kind of helmet with the stones to defend himself from the punches, but Kurtov manages to knock him out with a knee strike to the back, leaving him almost lifeless on the ground. Since she cannot communicate with the guardians to know if they are alright, the major sends a helicopter to rescue them. But when she arrives at the place, she finds only Lur unconscious. Not far away, Asis, Khan and Ksenia are captured by Kurtov who offers them the chance to join him. But when they all refuse, the villain decides to put his plan into action without them, ordering an army of military vehicles to drive to the center of Moscow and destroy everything in their path. With panic spreading, the citizens begin to evacuate the city. And the general, who is actually a traitor, goes to Kuratov to collect his part of the bargain for he has already set up the ambush to capture the guardians. But in the end, his treachery is worthless, for Kuratov loses his patience and suffocates him until he is eliminated. In the hospital, Lur finally wakes up and tells the Major how bad it was that he had lived long enough to bury his own daughter and grandchildren. Moved, Elena tries to console him but is interrupted when a nurse appears saying that a scientist who claims to have worked there before is wanting to talk to her. Interested, the Major leaves the room and discovers that the scientist is Victor, the man responsible for the Patriot Project at the time of the Cold War, who offers his services to help stop the destruction Kuratov is causing. Elena then tells him that the other guardians have been taken and asks him to help in the recovery of Lur while she and her men storm Kuratov's base to rescue the rest of the team. Back at the base, after eliminating the guards, the Major finally manages to free the guardians and tells them about the general's betrayal, saying that she is now 100% in command. 
Meanwhile, Kuratov steals a transmitter and uses it to take control of an old Soviet space station that was built during the Cold War. As soon as it learns of this, the Ministry of Defense goes into a state of alert for if Kuratov continues to take control of the other satellites orbiting the Earth, he will be able to communicate with all the machines on the planet at once. To try to stop the villain, the Ministry of Defense sends some fighter planes to the transmitter to try to destroy it and eliminate Kuratov. But as soon as he notices the approaching enemies, the scientist controls robots to shoot down the aircraft while being protected by a force field. Already imagining that this first attack would fail, the government scientists develop special suits for each of the Guardians, increasing their defenses and amplifying their powers even more adapting themselves to their abilities. With the new equipment, the Guardians begin to develop and Lur can easily handle his new electric whip, controlling it from rocks in the structure. For Ksenia, her new suit has the ability to make her invisible, even out of water, allowing her to make everything she touches disappear. Now that everyone has adapted to the equipment, the Guardians begin even more intense training until they learn to combine their powers, working as a team. With everything ready, the Ministry of Defense develop a plan where the Guardians must destroy the transmitter and deactivate the force field so that the military can finally eliminate Kuratov. Get to the villain faster, the Guardians decide to split up and Lur starts attacking from the subway, using his abilities to make the ground collapse on one of the guards' feet. Wielding his whip, he throws one soldier into the rear-view mirror of a car and throws the others away. But when reinforcements arrive shooting, Lur is forced to come up with a new strategy and decides to turn his whip into a kind of shield to defend himself. As the soldiers keep coming, the superhuman hides behind a row of cars, until he sees a gap and takes the opportunity to neutralize the gunman by whipping through the windows of all the vehicles and knocking them out with electricity. Outside the building, Asus runs full tilt into a car causing the gunman behind the vehicle to fly away. At that moment, Ksenia passes a kind of cannon to the bear man, who uses it to eliminate the dozens of soldiers trying to attack them. To avoid being hit, some of the men retreat behind a jeep where they see an invisible silhouette and shoot, thinking it is Ksenia, but it was all just her trap to make them shoot their own comrade. Even though they are agile, the Guardian duo ends up losing their advantage when Kuratov men arrive with more reinforcements, along with those super tech robots that shoot missiles. This along with the constant shooting in Ksenia's direction, makes Asus's greatest fear come true. He loses his human side and turns completely into a bear. Now more lethal than ever, the new creature advances against the soldiers who have no chance of survival. After the humans are defeated, Arsis goes after one of Kuratov motorized robots and directs its shots at another machine, thus managing to destroy both robots at once. Together, he and Ksenia head for the elevator of a destroyed shopping mall, where they find Lur heading for the terrace. From above, they cross a fallen pylon that is serving as a bridge to the transmission tower where Kuratov is staying. But halfway there, they are spotted by snipers who hit Asus, almost knocking him off the top of the building. To defend his friends, Lur turns his whip into a shield just as Khan jumps out of the plane and manages to cut in half the base where the snipers are. Finally reunited, the Guardians continue advancing until they reach the generator, where Ksenia says they need some kind of metal to close a short circuit. But Khan says that no metal could withstand the heat and she decides to use her own body as grounding, relying on her thermo-resistance ability not to melt down to her bones. With Ksenia's sacrifice, the force field is broken and they complete their mission. But the Guardians refuse to back down and keep going up to face Kuratov. Nevertheless, their new suits are also technological, and the villain is able to control them with ease using Asus's own weapon to electrocute him. Next, Lur decides to attack and throws his whip at Kuratov. However his blow is easily defended and both he and Khan are knocked out quite easily. Realizing the situation, Ksenia decides to go to Lur and make him invisible. In this way, Kuratov cannot predict where the attacks will come from and they manage to strike several blows with a whip at the supervillain. But when they try to immobilize the enemy so that Khan can finish him off. Kuratov takes the opportunity to knock all three out with his super strength. At this point, the villain advances on Ksenia, but Asus notices and decides to risk everything to protect her, turning back into a bear. But even in berserker mode, he is knocked out with a single punch. Wanting to save his team, Khan throws one of his blades at an airplane, trapping them with a rope so that they all escape. But just as they are escaping, Kuratov uses his powers to crash the aircraft, forcing the Guardians to throw themselves into the middle of a river. When they reach the shore, the quartet meets Elena who asks them not to come back, because the Ministry of Defense has already sent their missiles. But with powers, Kuratov can easily deflect the projectiles that explode in mid-air. After the mission fails, the Major says that Victor has revealed that they can do a power transfer, bringing all their powers together in one hit, but that this is extremely dangerous.
With Kuratov about to fire all the satellites in orbit, the Guardians take the risk and start transferring all their powers to Lur forming a sphere that gets bigger and bigger. Suddenly, they unleash the attack and that whole ball of energy rushes toward Kuratov, destroying the transmitters and sweeping away everything in its path. With Kuratov finally defeated, the planet is safe and people can finally return to their homes while the press speculates about what happened and who was responsible for eliminating the threat. Finally, Elena meets with the Guardians and thanks them for saving the world, but they reply that they were not born to be heroes and that they will go back to their normal lives from now on. But before they leave, the Major says that they have managed to find other survivors of the Patriot Project signaling that they may need them very soon. So, that's it. Be sure to comment with your thoughts below, if the video feels good, then like this video. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified of our latest videos. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.